Taking you out live to Fair Park in Dallas, where in just 43 days, the State Fair of Texas is set to kick off, and you can finally get your fill of rides, games, and oh, those corny dogs. Love that fair food. All right, thank you for sticking with us this midday. I'm Mark Iztook. Now, as organizers plan for the State Fair, Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton is threatening to take legal action if they move forward with a gun ban for fairgoers. Our Tiffany Liuge joins us now with the latest on the fallout from the proposed policy. At this point, the State Fair of Texas is banning all guns. That includes people who are licensed to carry a concealed weapon. Of course, this was met with a lot of pushback. Now, this is all coming from an incident that happened at the State Fair of Texas last year. Three people were injured after police say a 22 year old fired his gun in the food court area. Attorney General Ken Paxson says the State Fair of Texas has 15 days to lift the ban. Otherwise, they are heading to court for unlawful infringement of the Second Amendment. Now, this is not the first time we've seen the AG's office make this move. It happened before in 2016. The Dallas Zoo and Fort Worth Zoo banned guns, citing safety concerns. They are private nonprofits that lease space from the cities, just like the State Fair of Texas. Eight years ago, Paxton found the zoos were not violating any laws, but now he is saying the fair at 277 acres is not a place where weapons should be prohibited. I think the difference is uh, this is an election year. So the question is whether, you know, somebody who is renting a city facility having a private event can decide whether someone can come in who's a licensee. At this point, the State Fair says they have not spoken with the city yet, but they are ready to cooperate. And the city of Dallas tells us that they are still taking a look at that letter from the attorney general's office and they are preparing a response. Let's send it back to you in the studio. All right. Thank you for that, Tiffany.